Southwestern Advantage, where you can learn, where you can grow. Southwestern Advantage, come on, learn with me. Hey guys, welcome back to Aubrey's Learning Corner. Today we got this Southwestern Advantage science book, and today we're going to be talking about my costume. Oh wait, no, not my costume. We're going to be talking about the skeletal system. Here, let's set that in the page. The skeleton is a bony, flexible framework that gives shape to the bodies of humans and other vertebrates. It serves as a scaffolding to protect vital organs and activated by the muscles and aids in body movement. There are about 206 bones in the adult body of varying shapes and sizes. That's a lot of bones, you guys. These 206 bones are divided into two main parts, the axial skeleton and the appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton. The axial skeleton is made up of the bones of the head, neck, and trunk. Cranial bones of the skull form the dome-shaped casing for the brain. The facial bones form the features and protect the eyes and the oral and nasal passages. The spine, or spinal column, with its flexible vertebrae supports the head and the trunk of the body and shields the spinal cord. The spine consists of separate bones, called vertebrae, with fibrous discs between them. Seven bones make up the cervical vertebrae, the neck bones. The 12 thoracic vertebrae are at the back of the chest. The ribs are attached to the thoracic vertebrae. The cinder-like rib cage shelters the heart, lungs, liver, and spleen. That's really cool, you guys. There are usually 12 ribs on each side of the body. The upper ribs fasten in front to the sternum, which is also the breastbone. The ribs protect the heart and lungs and act as a bellows box for the breathing process. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. I like it. Lower vertebrae and pelvis. The five lumbar vertebrae lie in the lower part of the back. Below the last lumbar vertebrae is the sacrum. The pelvis is attached to the sacrum. The pelvic bones protect internal organs. The coccyx is at the bottom of the spine. Now we're gonna read about the appendicular skeleton. The appendicular skeleton is made up of the bones of the arms and legs and their supports. Arms. The shoulder griddle consists of the scapula, the shoulder blade, and the clavicle, the collarbone. The skeleton of the arm is divided into the humerus, the upper arm, the radius and ulna, the forearm, the carpus, wrist bones, metacarpus, palm, and phalanges fingers. Legs. The leg is attached to the trunk by a pelvic girdle made up of two hip bones. Each hip bone consists of three bones. The ilium, the ischium, and the pubis. The bones of the leg consist of the femur, the thigh, the tibia and fibula, the lower leg, the tarsus, the back of the foot, metatarsus, the forefoot, and the phalanges, the toes. So there's two phalanges, the fingers, and down there, the toes. Bones. Bones are thought of as hard and dry, but in fact, water makes up about one quarter of the weight of the human bone. That's really crazy, I did not know that. Another quarter consists of organic matter, collagen, connective tissue, a type of protein, fibers. The remaining half consists of inorganic compounds, calcium, phosphorus, and other minerals. Composition. Bones are covered on the outside by a fibrous membrane, the periosteum and lined by the endosteum, the center of a bone. The medullary cavity is filled with either red or yellow bone marrow. Yellow bone marrow consists mostly of Fat. Red bone marrow is a network of blood vessels, connective tissue, and blood-forming cells. Hmm, I didn't know that. 
Red bone marrow makes red blood cells. All bones have blood vessels and nerves. That's cool. Specialized cells. Bone tissue contains three kinds of specialized cells. Osteoblasts form bone matrix by laying down collagen fibers and other proteins and depositing hard mineral material. Osteocytes are osteoblasts that have become trapped in the bone matrix they manufactured and live embedded, embedded there for years. Osteocytes help to control the mineral balance of the body and also respond to the stresses created by physical activity. And the last one is osteoclasts. That's funny, like osteoblasts and osteoclasts. But osteoclasts erode the matrix during normal bone turnover, during growth, and during the healing of fractures. Joints. Bones are attached to each other by a series of tissues known as joints. Joints are made up of cartilages, smooth tissues that reduce friction, okay, ligaments, strands of elastic fibrous tissue, which hold together the ends of the bone, keeping them properly aligned. Okay, let's read about broken bones. When a bone breaks, a doctor should set it as soon as possible and put it in a, plaster ca a plaster cast if necessary. The cast holds the bone securely in place. When a bone breaks into several pieces, doctors may wire or pin the pieces together for proper healing. In most cases, the body forms a fracture callus, a mass of new cartilage and bone, to hold the broken ends together. Okay. New, bone, new bones gradually replaces the callus to finally heal the fracture. This process takes from four weeks to a year. Oh my gosh. Depending on the size of the bone, the location of the fracture, and the patient's age and health. Hmm. So that's kind of that's kind of cool, but weird at the same time. So it all depends on you, your health, your age, and where the bone break is. That's really cool, actually. Yeah, really, really cool. In some cases, the break does not heal by itself. Uh oh. Doctors treat such non-union fractures with bone grafts or with electro electrical current to stimulate bone growth. X-rays! During an experiment with electric current in 1895, German physicist Wilhelm Conrad Röntgen discovered an unknown form of radiation that he called X-rays. Röntgen found that these rays passed easily through some substances, such as flesh but were largely stopped by others, such as metal or bone. Rankin was able to use the rays to photograph the bones of his wife's hand. The use of x-rays revolutionized medical and surgical techniques and eventually provided sci scientists with new insights into the nature of radiation and the structure of the atom. You guys, that was so much fun learning and reading from this book i i love my body and i haven't even scratched the surface but i already believe that everything is happening in there can't wait to read more about what my body does every single second and you guys remember knowledge is power and i'll see you guys next time bye you guys, go visit www.swadvantage.com and place your order. And I'll see you guys later.